Hi, this is Monica from Run, Eat, Repeat, and this is part three of my series on how I lost weight. I recently wrote a blog post on notes on how I lost weight and had six different points, and I wanted to break down each one via video. So you can check out the post. I'll put a link below, and you can check out the first two notes in YouTube now. But it doesn't matter what order you do them in or you check them out in. Number three. I realized what I should eat to stay satisfied. After a lot of trial and error, I've realized that I'm less hungry during the day if I eat a lot of fat with breakfast. I put nuts on my smoothie. I don't measure them, but it's a lot. <laughs> I snack on some while I'm making it too. Um, yeah, I recently went through a huge container of mixed nuts that said it had like 32 servings and I finished it in a lot sooner than 32 days. Plus I have like a variety of other nuts that I keep in the freezer because I like them super cold and crunchy. Side note. Um, but I kind of realized that, and this is with, like I said, trial and error, my breakfast in the morning has a big impact on how much I am snacking or how much I'm eating in the rest of the day. And I have just come to realize that if I eat a lot of fat with breakfast or at least earlier in the day in general, like before lunch, I'm less likely to be super snacky all day or super unsatisfied. So that is important for me to kind of regulate, regulate myself. Um, and that made me kind of realize, like when I started to realize this, I thought about in general, my preferences on food. And I thought about how as a kid, when we would have hard boiled eggs, like I would really love the inside, the yolk. And my brother would like, like the white. He would just like, I was just thinking about things we would gravitate towards, you know? Um, I gravitate towards more of like a cereal like a granola like a very hearty granola with a lot of nuts in it and i always have um things like that i just kind of started to be more observant of my natural tendencies from even way back when like i said like as a little kid and kind of growing up and that made me realize too that as a kid we would go to taco bell my mom would let us pick two things from the menu and i would always pick pintos and cheese and a bean and cheese burrito like i didn't um as a kid eat order a lot or crave a lot of protein necessarily um so yeah i don't question it a ton if now as an adult i'm not a big meat eater i'm just like okay this is just my natural tendency and that's all right as long as it's healthy on some level um or I, as long as i use it to my advantage to help me be healthy right so like we all have things we naturally maybe gravitate towards and you can use it to your advantage to kind of encourage yourself for healthy habits. Um, so yeah, uh, basically me realizing that I do like to eat a lot of fat, um, has helped me regulate what I'm eating because I cannot be someone who eats a very low fat diet or chooses the low fat option because I'm just going to take in even more calories over the course of the day. If I try to deny myself that so healthy fats, are where it's at um but really if you're watching this at all for help for yourself um yeah look at what you gravitate towards what is like wh what do you kind of crave um if you are feeling like you're just listening to your body and trying to be intuitive or growing up was there something in particular that you really liked that might tell you something about what you like to eat now um, because yeah, just being self-aware is so important and kind of rolling with your strengths and, um, trying to avoid your weaknesses and just kind of using the knowledge that you have about yourself to help you just get better, get healthier, get stronger, get fitter, get more balanced, anything like whatever your goal is, um, knowing about yourself can really help. I hope this helps you.